Hi, Dominica here from EasySewingForBeginners.com. In this tutorial today, I'll be showing you a quick and easy way to fix those rips and tears in your favourite clothing. So let's check out what you will need. Okay, so for this tutorial today, I'll be using my jumper that has a lovely rip in the arm. I also have some matching thread to go with my jumper. Uh, I'll be using some lightweight fusible interfacing so you can get that from any sewing shop they'll be able to help you out with that uh, and you also need your iron to iron on your fusible interfacing uh, along with your scissors and your sewing machine okay to start off with I'm just going to give the little ripped area a press with the iron just to get all the threads to stay down nice and flat okay now I'm going to turn my jumper inside out Okay, so I've got my sleeve turned inside out and I've got the rip together as best I can. Now I've cut a small piece of the fusible lightweight interfacing and I'm going to make sure that the um, fusible side is facing down and over the top of the rip and I'm just going to use a scrap piece of material just to put over the top to stop my interfacing from getting stuck to the iron and I'm going to give that a bit of a press. Okay, once you're happy with how well it's sticking, we're going to turn the garment, I'm going to turn my jumper the right side out again and move on to the next step. Okay, so I have my machine all ready to go with the matching thread in the top of the machine as well as in the bobbin. Now we're going to come over to here and the stitch you'll want to find is this triple zigzag stitch. If you have it, that would be the best one to use. And I'm going to change or set the stitch width to about a 2.5 or a 2. So it just depends on how big the rip is. Okay. And if you have it, it would be good to take this part off your sewing machine to convert it into a free arm, um, especially if you're doing a sleeve like I am. Okay, so we have our garment turned right side out and because my rip is on the armhole, it's going to be a little bit trickier, but I'm going to slide it over this part of the sewing machine until I get it down to the rip. All right, and I'm just going to try and turn it and position it so it starts at the top of the rip there. All right, I'm going to place my presser foot down and I've got my um, dashed zigzag stitch ready to go and off I go. And I'm just going to go backwards back over that and forwards again. Okay, because I have an L-shaped rip I'm just going to put my needle in the down position and I'm going to Turn the sleeve a bit more and off I go this way. And reverse. Okay, take that out and have a look and see how we've done there. Alright, so as you can see, I've captured most of my tear there, but a little bit here has been missed. So what I do is I put it back into the machine and I just go over that again. And here's my mended hole, all done. I hope you found this tutorial useful today. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up with all the new videos that I'm bringing out in the near future. And leave a comment down below as well if you like. See you next time.